If you or someone you care about has coronary artery disease, I, usually that means a stent or bypass surgery, although it could also mean a history of a heart attack or a high coronary artery calcium score, for example, you're likely feeling anxious, maybe even a little scared. Like, what does it mean? You know, how effective is the treatment? Is there an expiration date on a stent or a bypass surgery? Uh, does this mean that you'll need more procedures in the future? Um, well, if you know or found out that you have coronary artery disease and you're interested in proactively protecting your health, in this video, you'll learn the 10 critical things you need to know to get the best chance to prevent, treat, and reverse heart disease. So whether you're feeling overwhelmed, frustrated by vague advice, or determined to take action, you're in the right place. So the number one thing to know about coronary artery disease is, unfortunately, you're not alone. There are over 800,000 heart attacks every year in the United States. That's over 2,200 every day. 600,000 heart artery stents each year, uh, over 300,000 bypass surgeries. When you look at the lifetime risk, 60% of men and 56% of women in the United States will have a heart attack, stroke, heart failure, or die of heart disease in their lifetime. So unfortunately, a really common problem. The number two thing to know is that if you already have coronary artery disease by stent or bypass or heart attack, you are in the highest risk category for a heart attack or dying from heart disease. The five-year recurrent heart attack rates are 20 to 30%, uh, about 1,300 heart-related deaths per day in those with coronary artery disease, about 750 sudden cardiac deaths every day in the United States uh, from when in people with coronary artery disease. Now, that all sounds very bleak and it is, but here's where it gets interesting. The number three thing to know is that greater than 90% of heart disease is preventable with the right approach. And in fact, in my 25 years of experience as a preventive cardiologist, I think it's more like 99% of heart disease is preventable. Uh, so, so definitely a message of hope. The number four thing to know is to markedly decrease your risk of heart disease, become insulin sensitive. So, you know, insulin resistance, insulin sensitive, those are confusing terms a lot of times. We use different words for it. It could be diabetes, it could be pre-diabetes, it could be glucose intolerance, but um, what the goal in insulin, being insulin sensitive is not just not diabetic. It's uh, insulin sensitive individuals have normal blood sugar and normal insulin levels. So there's a subset of insulin resistance where people have normal blood sugars, but they generate a lot of insulin to keep those blood sugars normal. And, and insulin is a driver of artery disease. But, you know, and not only is the naming of insulin resistance uh, confusing, uh, how to become insulin sens sensitive is also complex because it's unique to each individual and it includes things like physical activity, nutrition, sleep, avoiding toxins, and medications when indicated. The number five thing to know about uh, if, if you have coronary artery disease is decide how low your LDL or more accurately, your ApoB or LDL particle number should be. Um, I'm just going to say this directly. Uh, don't be fooled by those who don't understand the science. Um, uh, ask a cardiologist, you know, a cardiologist who's been taking care of patients for more than a few decades, um, and they will explain to you, ApoB, LDL cholesterol is causative for artery disease. And, you know, how low do you need to get? Well, it depends on what your risks are for heart disease. But it, the group that has the lowest risk threshold for avoiding heart attacks and strokes and repeat, you know, stents and bypass surgeries uh, is an LDL less than 20 and an ApoB less than 35. Does that mean you need to be that low? Maybe not, but it's something that you need to think about and discuss with your doctor. Number six thing to know, don't accept mildly elevated blood pressure. Gold blood pressure is less than 130 over 80, but ideal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80. 
And even mildly elevated blood pressure in that you know pre-hypertension uh, uh, range of 120 to 129 increases the risk of heart attack and stroke by two times and increases dementia by 30 to 40 percent. The number seven thing to know, a strong body fuels a strong heart. Fitness is the most powerful predictor of longevity. A low fitness versus elite fitness is a 300% stronger predictor of death than having coronary artery disease. So if your choices were to have coronary disease or to be low fitness, the, the, the better choice for mortality would be to have coronary disease. Um, and, and along those lines, not just your fitness, but know your muscle mass as well. Uh, you know, do, do you need, you know, to improve your fitness? Do you need to improve your muscle mass? You need to know what those numbers are to, to do that. We use DEXA technology to, to do that as a, a, an accurate and reproducible measure of uh, muscle uh, mass. Number eight thing to know, what are your visceral fat levels? Well, again, we use DEXA to get this information, but you know, body fat percentage is not a real strong predictor of health. Visceral fat, though, the fat around your middle, your, your organs, your abdominal fat uh, is strongly predictive of health outcomes. And the number nine thing to know is a strong heart requires a sharp mind. Sleep, stress management, mental health, social connection, and longevity mindset can be as important as cholesterol and blood pressure for your future heart health. Um, and number 10, the last thing you need to know, um, you know, heart disease uh, presents as sudden cardiac death in about 25% of people. Um, waiting for disease to occur, which has been the traditional path of, of healthcare, is a very low quality healthcare when it comes to heart disease. And, you know, I decided that I'm no longer willing to accept low quality healthcare. And if you also are no longer willing to accept that default option, and if you're looking for an expert team uh, to show you how to decrease your risk of heart disease by greater than 90%, well, that's what we do at my practice at Healthspan MD. You know, and, and one of the things that I think would be a fair, you know, question is how can more than 90% of heart disease be preventable when there's over 800,000 heart attacks and 60% of people will, will have artery disease in their lifetime? Like how could more than 90% of uh, that be preventable? And yet so many people are being effective. And I'll, I'll give you three reasons why, a mostly preventable disease, coronary artery disease, causes about 2,000 premature deaths every day in the U.S. Reason one, healthcare isn't built to prevent or reverse disease. It's reactive. It's built to monitor, manage, to medicate. Number two, healthcare treats symptoms, not root causes. It doesn't answer why or how do I stop this? And number three, and this is just unfortunate, not a conspiracy theory, it's just a fact. There's a lot of money in sick people. Your health is not the highest priority of the insurance and pharmaceutical companies or the large healthcare or uh, corporations and private equity. And so, uh, you know, that's why I started the Heart Longevity Program at HealthSpan MD for those people that have coronary artery disease, stent, bypass, heart attack. And they want to eliminate heart disease through a comprehensive precision approach, advanced technology, and exceptional healthcare that gets results. So we do advanced testing as part of our assessment, but not just to check the boxes. We do this so we know exactly where you stand. Most of our patients end up getting a CT angiogram with plaque composition analysis. Then we're not treating by an algorithm saying your cholesterol should be this. We know precisely where you are, how much artery disease you have, what your risk is, and that guides us on how aggressive we want to be with your prevention regimen. But we also do an echocardiogram, carotid and abdominal aortic uh, 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 screening, advanced lab assessment, not just cholesterol, hormones, metabolism, inflammation, and we do a DEXA scan uh, for detailed body composition analysis to guide those nutrition and physical activity recommendations that are going to be so essential. Of course, everybody gets me as well. Uh, I've been a preventive cardiologist my entire career. I spent uh, almost 20 years at Mayo Clinic. I've been an associate professor of medicine there in the University of Arizona. I've published uh, you know, over 50 research publications. 
uh, spoke all over the world about preventing heart disease. The point of this is that this has been my 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 purpose, my mission, my passion. Um, it's unlikely that you have a driver of artery disease that I've not seen and that I've not uh, helped somebody with. Uh, but I also realize that heart longevity requires more than just a cardiologist. They, we need a team of experts. And that's why everybody sees in our program and our assessment and a physical therapist, exercise physiologist, dietitian, mental health, sleep specialist, and our exceptional team of longevity coaches. Everybody also sees our internal medicine specialist, Dr. Lisa Hurst, um, for consultation and ongoing primary care if they would like, so we can optimize the other factors that are important in heart health, hormones, inflammation, metabolism, prevention, uh, early detection. Uh, she is a board certified internal medicine specialist from Michigan uh, and also spent over 20 years at Mayo Clinic. So the heart, as part of the heart longevity assessment, we also realize a strong body fuels a strong heart. That's why everybody has a strength, stability, and functional movement assessment with a physical our physical therapist and Vault Technology. We do VO2 uh, VO2 fitness testing um, and as well lean muscle mass assessment with DEXA Technology. So we understand your opportunities to feel and look younger while protecting your heart. And also as part of the heart longevity assessment, we realize a strong heart requires a sharp mind. And so we do advanced cognitive assessment with ViewMind NeuroScan eye tracking technology. So you can take advantage of the opportunities to keep your mind sharp while we're protecting your heart. And, you know, the HealthSpan Heart Longevity Assessment is not just a checkup. Uh, at the end of this, you will know what's wrong, why, and how are you going to solve it? And how are we going to solve it? So the timeline for the Heart Longevity Program looks like this. It starts with the launch. That's a Heart Longevity Assessment. That's where we discover your hidden threats and your opportunities um, with our team of experts. Then we create your strategy and tactics with you, with, with learning about what you, your goals, your preferences are with our experienced strategists. And then through ongoing connection and support, you have access to physicians, team, the dedicated health coach. We're going to be working on continual progress. What are those opportunities that we want to improve, but also as your health security system, monitoring for issues that, that may come up that we can address before they become major problems with uh, check-in assessments every three to six months. And then we repeat it at the end of every year or the start of the next year indefinitely because we're always looking to keep getting better, to, to keep getting younger uh, as well. This is a systems approach that turns wishful thinking into reality. This isn't guesswork. It's a data-driven system approach to prevent, treat, and reverse heart disease. So, you know, one of the questions may be, well, why now? Why do I need to do this? Maybe you've already had the stent, the bypass, you've seen your cardiologist, the avionostatin. Um, do you need it right now? Well, you know, I said I would say this again, I'll say it again. Over 90% of heart disease is preventable and even reversible. But unfortunately, too many people are waiting too long. As we talked about, every day in the United States, there are 2,200 heart attacks, almost 2,000 heart-related deaths, over and 1,000 sudden cardiac deaths every single day for a problem that is mostly preventable. These are the people who waited too long to take control. And if you're no longer willing to accept the default option of waiting, then I would recommend scheduling your call by going to healthspanmd.com backslash call to learn about whether our program might be a good fit for you and your goals. You'll meet with our new patient advisor, Rob. Uh, we're, this is no pressure, just a real conversation to see if we're the right fit. Um, no prep needed. Uh, just bring your stories and we'll take it from there. You know, at Healthspan MD, we believe your best years may be still ahead. Um, years full of energy, purpose, clarity, and peace of mind. What if your next decade or more could be your best ones yet?